Okay, this video is just to quickly show you how to um, replace a free hub on a Shimano FHM525SL, that's a Dior Shimano hub. Um, yeah, basically my chain was being thrown off when I stopped pedalling. Um, so I took obviously the rear cassette off the hub and off the free hub and found that it was incredibly stiff to turn the free hub. Um, there's a lot of friction in that bearing arrangement um, which basically threw the chain off the front chain rings. So I have a replacement here. Now most people talk about Allen keys and stuff for uh, these hubs. Um, the actual real tool for the job is a, a triple square which is a 12 points and it's a, a 12 in size and you can see that fits the fits that retaining collar if you like perfectly. So I've already loosened this so you can see that's, that's the free hub removed from the hub itself. Here's the replacement and you can see there's some collars or tags or tangs on the hub itself. They the free hub engages with those and now you can with the new free hub you can hear the, the nice bearing ticking sound as I rotate it. And obviously that that, that is what you, the, the feature you're using when you stop pedaling. Um, so it's just a question of tightening that collar down with the, the triple square. Um, the nice thing about this replacement with the, the free hub is that the actual bearings run within the within the free hub itself. You can see the cup there, the inner cup that mates up with the um, the outer cup cone of the of the axle. Now I've, I've replaced this axle because the, the outer cones were looking really bad and pit, um, pitted um, so what I've got to do is put the, the nine ball bearings back into that cup and thread the axle back through so this is a new axle and within a few weeks I find myself replacing the um, the free hub as well um, just for an idea that I think the axle was about 17 pounds and the um, free hub about 22 pounds so instead of, you could argue you could buy a new wheel, f a wheel for that, but it'd be quite poor quality. So doing the axle and doing the free hub feels like a reasonably cost effective solution, but you do need the tools to do it and be prepared to get the, the grease out and re repack the bearings. Um, at the moment, on the other side, you can see the nine ball bearings held within the grease. So you don't, when you're doing this and you've taken the axle out, you don't want to be throwing the, the wheel around because you might lose a ball bearing, but they're nicely held within the grease there. So just be gentle with it when you're doing this job. And I hope that helps. Um, yep, good luck with your own wheels.